Tifu by kidnapping a toddler. Okay. So the headline is a bit misleading since there are a lot of mitigating circumstances and a very rational explanation for the incident. I'm a mother of three going shopping with my husband and kids. My youngest is sitting in the shopping cart and the two older behaved good and for once wasn't running around being a nuisance to me and everyone else. I spot the stuff I wanted on a shelf. Let go of the cart and start to rummage through the shelves. My kids, minus the one in the cart, find some cereal the wanted and starts to roam around a bit. When I found the brand I was looking for I turned around, grabbed the cart and went down the lane. My husband trailed after. After two or three more aisles I suddenly realize that he is pushing the cart with our youngest kid. In it, I look down at my own cart and a completely unknown toddler looks up at me looking a bit bewildered. I must have moved a bit when looking through the products and taken the wrong cart when I finally turned around. Backtracking our way we meet the frantic mother that luckily was understanding saying she had almost done the same at another occasion. So my kidnapping career was short and had a happy ending. But I still cringe when I think about it. T.L. Doctor. Never get distracted at a supermarket since it may lead to accidental kidnapping. Edit. No editing was done to this text. So many have commented on my spelling mistakes though. Most have been friendly but someone wrote that I shouldn't have reproduced since I couldn't spell. So I thought I had to add that I speak nine languages. Some fluently and some a bit half-assed. Of which English was the fourth language I learned. Some spelling issues are to be expected. Have a good day and do not kidnap any toddlers. I've never walked away with someone else's kid. But I have barked orders at them because I thought they were my kid doing something I told them not to do. You get down from there. I told you we are Levy. Oh. Sorry. Never mind. You're fine. Lol. My mother did this one as a teacher on a school trip. The class were misbehaving so she corralled them and yelled at them for a while. When she was done a small voice piped up saying, but I'm not one of yours. Then a teacher from another school turned up and thanked mum profusely for finding the lost child and looking after him. Not quite as funny as the kid who stole a penguin, though. Be careful that you don't do this again while selecting breakfast foods. Or you will be a serial kidnapper. One time my dad got into the wrong car leaving the grocery store and the woman in the front seat. Who was not my mother was shook. She was speechless and started looking around for help thinking something awful was about to happen. To her. My dad still feels horrible about this. He just bolted yelling, I thought you were my wife. My mom saw the whole thing from a couple cars over and was killing herself laughing when he finally got in the right car. Two minutes of crime equals two minutes of time. I've got an opposite perspective today. Went shopping and got back into my car. Proceeded to put my key into the ignition and the car wouldn't start turned to my wife, who stayed in the car, to ask her what the hell's wrong with the car. Cue a woman about 80 odd who couldn't get further away from me while sitting in the passenger seat. Same car model. Exact same color parked right beside my car. So that's my story of how I tried to kidnap an elderly mother. My wife is still laughing about it six hours later. I was given a toddler once whilst i was drunk in the rain at 2 a.m by a stranger i am a man also so this was doubly stressful the story has a happy ending but the situation made me feel very uncomfortable for a long time don't feel bad we all make mistakes sometimes toddlers come and grab your hand before realizing you're the wrong adult happened to me a couple of times. 
kids grabbing my hand or toddlers hugging my legs only to look up and realize I'm a stranger. I have eight younger siblings. You need to keep an eye on all of them. Keep counting to make sure no one is left behind. My mom lost my brother at a supermarket when he was two. They were describing him. Calling for the parent of that kid dressed in red shorts and a Pokemon t-shirt. My mother heard but didn't even realize it was her own kid. Exact same thing happened to me a long long time ago. I was the toddler in my situation. Oh boy. I sort of did this but slightly differently. Myself and my friends were headed down the country for a right old knees up. We stopped at a shop to get food. My buddy was putting fuel in the car. And unbeknownst to me, had pulled up after refueling. I come out of the shop with the food and hop into the car. Also unbeknownst to me, another car had taken his place. Exactly the same make and model. I jump in the passenger seat and yell, all right bitches let's fucking do this. Single quote. Silence. I turn around to the back of the people carrier. Six African children. Staring at me like they're about to be abducted. I slowly got out of the car and found my friends. My kidnapping career ended that day. One plus get one free doesn't apply to the children winking face. Just the other day a kid came up to my cart and started putting things into it and I really wasn't paying attention until I realized. Shit. I'm here without my kids. He didn't speak English so I just said. No poppy. I'm not mommy and gave him his stuff back. His mom was very apologetic. I laughed and said it was okay. One time. I was grocery shopping on a stormy day. The grocery store was like a mega supermarket with two main entrances that had bathrooms in there. Lobbies. Two automatic doors into the store. And two auto outdoors. It was very busy. And on this day the lobby was full of people waiting for cars to drive around because of the storm. I was standing with my groceries. Waiting for my husband to drive up with the car. He had parked pretty far away. And there was a long line of cars picking up and dropping off. The closest person to me was an older lady who had a little girl next to her cart. Maybe three to four years old. I assumed they were grandmother and grandchild. But then the woman's ride pulled up. And the child moved and stood next to another cart. Then that person left. And I was like, who is watching this kid? Everyone waiting had cleared out but me? I began to zip my coat. And as I put up my hood. Our eyes locked. And her poor little face just buckled and she started to cry. I said, oh. No. Are you lost? And all she could say is, my mommy. And I said, is your mommy in the store? And she shook her head and pointed outside. I said it was going to be okay. Come and stand by my cart. I saw my husband in the pickup line. But I couldn't leave this tiny girl right by the door and or the bathrooms. Finally. A woman came in carrying an infant. With a toddler in a cart. And she says, okay. Let's go. I said, hey. Your kid was really scared. She just laughed. She looked quite wealthy. Like fancy clothes. Expensive perfume. I have thought of all of the atrocious things that could have happened to that little girl in the 15 whole minutes we were standing there. At least the woman didn't leave the infant on top of the car or something. Bad parent. Stop procreating. Oh gosh reminds me of the time I took my daughter to the aquarium. She was about 5 at the time. She was walking alongside me and we stopped to look at a tank and then proceeded to walk. I reached down and grabbed her hand. We walked up a bit and then from behind me I hear her call me name. Not mom I always told her to call me by name if we get separated. Since less people will turn and look and less confusion. I first look down and there is a little blonde girl. 
same as mine wearing the same shirt as mine looking very confused and slightly scared. My daughter waiting for me to walk back with the girl whose dad was still looking at the tank we were originally looking at. LMAO I love how your husband was completely fine with you taking a random child probably thinking. Man. I don't remember this one but we did make so many. Oh well my wife knows better. Ha 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 think of it as surprise adoption. Similar. Was walking with my dog and two of my kids the other day and started to lag behind because kids have all the energy. To be silly and to catch up I sprinted and picked up my daughter while emitting an evil laugh and got ahead of my son who had the dog's leash. A car stopped and the driver started yelling because they thought she was being kidnapped woman facepalming got it sorted out without police involvement but felt really dumb afterward. Ah oh yes, surprise adoption. Did the same with a cat. Or tried to. Was leaving on an errand when I noticed our new. Ish. Cat in our fourth down neighbor's yard. Was thinking, he'll never find his way home. So I stopped to grab him and drive him back. He seemed fairly alarmed at my approach. Cursing him. I lunged. Then tried to sweet talk him briefly before another lunge looked up to notice the neighbor whom i didn't actually know all that well who looked concerned i tried to gave him a fucking cat what are y'all gonna do look as i tried one last time fucking cat bolted over a fence and i decided he could find his own way home waved at the neighbor and left got home and found our cat asleep in our locked house ha huh. that took some explaining your husband didn't notice you were pushing a cart with another baby? Someone did this to me with my shopping cart. I stopped by the cheese section. Back to my cart. I pick out a couple for some mac and cheese. Turn around. And my cart's gone. In walking around wondering where my 30 minutes of work finding stuff went. I finally see some dude with a confused look pushing my cart around. I told him he probably left his by the cheese section where he picked up mine. I don't understand not looking at a cart you're about to push. I guess it's more common than I realize. Though. Between looking at grocery lists and trying to find the right thing off the shelf but still. Don't people look down and see. Hmm. I don't remember grabbing chips. Salsa. And an uncomfortable amount of elbow macaroni. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.